do about similar similar figure huh? so let's try similar figure okay let's go to 7.2 and here we go so write your name your index your class and then we start now uh let's study the first diagram huh? first of all is this too similar if you turn to that oh can you turn to that page now? Is this too similar? Don't, uh, don't. Is this too congruent? Since we have learned similar, is this too congruent? No, uh. So can you write down? Uh, can you write down the statement? Triangle ABC is not congruent to triangle PQR. Can you suggest a reason? Area good, size good, length best. We didn't talk about area, of course, you know, area must be the same. We didn't talk about size because size is not a good gauge, right? Size is very hard to describe, but length is the best. So, can you tell me the length is same or different? Different. So, Jess, can you suggest how do we write a reason here? What length is not equal to what length? Or what length is equal to what length? AB is not equal to PQ, right? So all the lengths are different. So you can write down, oh, AB is not equal to PQ, etc., etc., etc. So all the lengths are different, right? But when I look at these two triangles again, are they something that they are the same? Are they both triangle? Both are triangle, right? But are there something else that is the same? The angle is the same. So can you let me label the angle? Label the angle. Double stroke. Triple stroke. Oh, so now we got something already. If the length are different, but all the three angles are the same, we say that the two figures are S word. Huh? similar uh i suggest you close all the textbook and don't do all the homework that you owe me yeah? because otherwise then you will miss out this part as well even though it look extremely easy so over here uh you see that there's some blank here so can you uh highlight this and write down this one is all angles uh, write down corresponding corresponding means matching uh. all corresponding angles are the same but this one means what all length ratio are the same as well okay now let me give you an example using numbers because I look at this one I'm like quite hard to understand. So let's start. If this is two, this is six, this is five, this is fifteen, this is seven, this is twenty-one. So how do I look about the the ratio? We say that A B over P Q. Can you can you calculate A B over P Q? What is AB over PQ? 2 over what? 6. What is the ratio? 1 over 3. Can follow? Let's try again. Uh, what is AC over PR? What is AC over PR? 5 over <laughs> 15. What is the ratio? 1 over Three. How about the last one? BC over QR. What's the ratio again? 7 over 21. 1 over 3. Do you see that the ratio are all the same? Do you see how the ratio are the same? It's one third, one third, one third, right? So you, you can say what? What can you conclude about the triangle? How many times bigger? Three times bigger, right? So there's an enlargement. Do you see the enlargement here? 
So this one means, oh, by looking at the number, uh, the length, uh, we say that it's an enlargement of three times, right? So this is three times enlargement. Now, all this we will go in detail later, but I just want you to have a brief idea. What do I mean by length ratio the same? Length ratio the same means if I divide the length and the length, all of them will give you the same number. Okay, so this is called length ratio the same. But are the length the same? No, huh? so the length are different. So this is important as well, the length are different. Okay, so length are different, length ratio are the same, corresponding angle are the same. So these are the three characteristics of similar shapes. Okay, now back to the broad, vague word. If I ask you these two words, Orlando, these two words are either shape and size. How will you put the two words in? Can you fill in the blank? One of the blank here is shape. One of the blank here is size. Which one will you put? I repeat. One of the word here is a bell. One of the word here is shape. One of the word here is size. Which one will you put? Same what? Same size, but different shape. Same shape but different size. Does it make sense? Yeah. So same shape. Example, both of them are triangle but different size. Uh, different. Because one is enlarged, one is smaller. So now you understand. <coughs> Sean, you are not standing up and doing a talk show. Uh. You are standing up and copying down. Now, let's, uh, let's look at the properties. So property 1, can you write down? Corresponding angle are the same. Secondly, the, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. Corresponding means I must take 7 over 21. I cannot take 7 over 5, something like that. It must be the corresponding uh, length. Okay? Now, let us look at question in particular, and then it will be easier for us to make sense of it. Oh. So, let's start. The corresponding vertex of two similar figure mass. must what each other how does this three letter come about and what is the sequence uh can you see that a b c is actually a b then c so it's f g then h right so if i can label this is like one two three this is one two three as well so the the the, uh, the number must be the same order as well so let's try uh. if i say b c d B, C, D refer to what? This one is B, C, D. Error, huh? This one should be A. Can you change the alphabet to A? There, there, there's no D here. Like. There's no D. What talking them? Now, B, C, A. So, B, C, A is 2, 3, then 1, right? 2, 3, then 1. So, over here, this then must be what? 2, 3, then 1. So, Aloysius, what will you write here? Follow the order. Can you all write down the order? Then Aloysius will come again. Come here. G H F. Correct. G H F. Try the last one. If C A B. C A B means three one two. Three one two. So what do you think the order here is? Adli, what do you think the order is? H, F, G. Huh? Easy? Simple, right? Huh? Simple. Huh? So all the corresponding angles are the same. Now, uh, the length ratio, the corresponding length ratio are equal. Can you write that down? Let's try. Huh? So this also follow the order. So let me, let me describe. If A, B over F, G...
I F H on the third one. What will you write on the numerator? Can you do the matching now? Too simple, right? Hafiza, B, if I write B, C, what is the denominator? G, H. Nabila, if I write F, H as the denominator, what is the numerator? A, C. Huh? So, everyone very clear like how I get the alphabet. It's not a game. Huh? It's not a mystery thing. Huh? So, is there another way to write? Yes. So, if I write A, C, B, what will you write on the other side? Sichuan, try now. If I write B, C, A, what will I write on the other side? Can you try now? Based on the first question, what will I write here? What order will it be? Ashley, can you try the first one? If I write A, C, B, what will I write? F, H, G. Chloe? Can you try the second one? If I write BCA, how will I write the other triangle? BCA. The rest can you try? Then you compare with Chloe's answer. BCA. GHF. Huh? GHF. Easy? Super easy. Huh? No reason why your no reason why your A max, why your max cannot get A1, right? A your max cannot get A1, right? And go A, B, C, is it easy? Use the property. So let me teach you, let me show you how to present the answer. Angle ACB is angle X, Y, Z. And what's the answer? 1, 1, 3. No, no, no. Similar, they tell you similar already. Now, I, I bet with you, many of you will just write 1, 1, 3. Exam, not so good. Because later on, you have many numbers, but you don't know what they represent. So my suggestion, write this, write 113. Another suggestion, label the diagram what you have found. It is going to save your life because uh, sometimes you get very stressed over numbers and missing blanks. Now, length of BC, is it easy? Now, can I, can I try BC over what? Let's have someone to help us, huh? You write down the blank, the denominator. Sean, if I use BC, I must divide by one length in the other triangle. What do I divide? Why is that? Very good. Can I have the other two pairs? Can I have the other two pairs? This is not a Chinese character. Huh? This is not the Ru. Huh? I have a number here, I have, a, I have an alphabet here, I have alphabet here, I have alphabet here, I have alphabet here. So what will you write? Let's, let's try. A, B over? X, Y. The, the other one? A, C over? X, Z. Now, can you take your pencil and help me put a tick if you got the number? Put a cross if you don't have the number. Let me explain. B, C, do you have the number? No, can you put a cross? Y, Z? Yes. A, B? Yes. X, Y? Yes. A, C? No. X, Z? No. Is it very obvious which two pair you must choose? Very obvious, right? Will you, must you choose this pair? Jaren, do you think you need to choose this pair? Answer is yes. Why? Uh? Why? Uh? Why don't have BC? You still want to choose BC? Because the question asks for what? BC. So you have to choose this pair. So you write down BC over YZ equals to what will you choose? AB over 
x, y. Reason, you have the numbers. Why don't you choose ac over xz? You don't have the numbers, so you don't choose this. Now look at this, put in the number that you know. Put in the number that you know. So bc, I don't know. yz is what? 5. ab, 4. The other one, 6. How do I find bc? Cross multiply. Also can. I can also multiply both sides by 5. So I got BC equals to 4 over 6 times 5. And it's a calculator game. There was the answer. Three and three three and one one third. Three and one third. CM. Exam two marks. Easy?